Toxo is an obligate intracellular parasitic protozoan. Obligate intracellular parasitic protozoan. That means that its reproduction is entirely reliant on intracellular, that's inside the cell, resources. It's transmitted by cysts in meat or oocysts in cat feces. One way to remember that oocysts are in cat feces is to remember that oocysts are in the cat poop. Because Toxo can cross the placenta, first aid suggests that pregnant women should avoid cats. Diagnosis is made by doing serology or biopsy, and the buzzword is that they're looking for the tachyzoite. Now, Toxo can reactivate in an HIV or AIDS patient, causing brain abscesses seen as ring-enhancing lesions on CT MRI. That's ring-enhancing lesions. They look like rings on CT or MRI. Remember that Toxo can cross the placenta, and that can cause congenital toxoplasmosis. And the classic triad is chorioretinitis, hydrocephalus, and intracranial calcifications. We treat Toxo with sulfadiazine plus pyrimethamine. That's sulfadiazine plus pyrimethamine. For review, Toxo, obligate intracellular parasitic protozoan, meaning that reproduction is entirely reliant on intracellular resources. Toxo can reactivate in HIV AIDS patients causing brain abscesses, seen as ring-enhancing lesions on CT MRI. That's ring-enhancing lesions that look like this. Transmission is by cysts in meat or oocysts in cat feces. A way to remember that it's oocysts is that there's oocysts in cat poop. Diagnosis is made by serology or biopsy, and the buzzword what we're looking for in there is tachyzoites. Don't forget that Toxo can cross the placenta, so it's recommended that pregnant women should avoid cats. If Toxo does cross the placenta, it can cause congenital toxoplasmosis. And the classic triad for that is chorioretinitis, hydrocephalus, and intracranial calcifications. Don't forget to treat Toxo with sulfadiazine and pyrimethamine. And those are some of the high yields for Toxo.